Hello everybody, it's Shadow X here, and this is my review of 2019's Dark Phoenix. In Marvel comic books, there are a few things more fearsome and powerful than the Phoenix. First introduced in 1976 and Dark Phoenix in 1980, and often taking shape of the fiery mythical bird, the cosmic force is capable of obliterating planets, creating new life, resurrecting the dead, and saving the world. When it comes to the original member of X-Men, Jean Grey, we see everything good and evil of what this immense power can do. Of all the X-Men, Jean Grey was never the one with the flashiest or strongest powers. In combination with the Phoenix, however, she gained both in one cosmic flash. And with her newfound power, she managed to save the universe. But she also became an intergalactic threat, a planet killer who was feared by some of the most powerful beings in the universe, as well as her friends and family. Grey's toxicity became her downfall, and a story of hope and power quickly became a tragedy. It changed the X-Men and the superheroes forever. But the awe, the emotional tell, and the immense power of the Phoenix have never been translated well on the big screen, where 2019's Dark Phoenix has also tanked at the box office because of lack of fandom. Let's not get involved in that subject in this video. The Last Stand was critically panned and the X-Men franchise was rebooted in 2011. Dark Phoenix, the most recent entry in the rebooted franchise, hasn't done much better. Released on June 7, 2019, it was met with poor reviews and a disappointing 33 million domestic box office opening. Given the combination of fan disappointment, the low quality of the movie, and Disney and Marvel's recent issues of film rights to the X-Men characters from Fox, the X-Men can now be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Dark Phoenix is likely the last chapter of the rebooted X-Men franchise. At best, it will likely be years before Disney makes an all-new X-Men movie. But with the Phoenix failing to take flight, it's time to think about the X-Men cinematic future and what hasn't worked in trying to bring Marvel's mutants to the big screen. So, we can only hope they will be sure of it. The main problems with Jean Grey's story is that there has been many of the same elements inspired by her arc. Telling the story of Jean Grey and the female writer Chris Claremont and artist John Byrne told a story about a female superhero who wasn't just someone else's love interest, but rather someone with power beyond imagination. The story was crazy in the 80s, but now has become very common. Jean Grey and her X-Men family have never been well established on screen. The X-Men are a chosen family, for one reason or another. Being abandoned, being an orphan, an outsider, or being scared of hurting people is a common trait for those of Charles Xavier's school, a place where they belong. Each mutant has a story about why they're there and what makes them stay. The love relationship between the X-Men are what make them tick. Each of the X-Men has a different relationship with Jean Grey. Storm is Jean's best friend, Cyclops is the love of her life, Beast is a brother to her, and Kitty Pride functions as a younger sister. X-Men writers, artists, and fans alike are invested in the pushes and pulls of these relationships. This investment in Jean's story is what makes Jean turn against her fellow X-Men and against her own family. Jean becomes Dark Phoenix and turns on the X-Men. Stan tried to give Jean autonomy and agency, but it boiled down to the rest of the X-Men characters into one-note characters, who were either in love with Jean, Cyclops and Wolverine, or mad at Jean, everyone else. In Dark Phoenix, Jean and her fellow X-Men don't really have personalities beyond reacting to the Phoenix by expressing genuine alarm and reacting to Jean not being able to control the Phoenix by expressing even more alarm. Storm exists to shoot lightning bolts. The same goes for Quicksilver and his super speed. Since they don't have any moments with Jean beyond their space mission, there's no reason to believe they feel any kind of emotion in going up against her. Cyclops has a relationship with Jean. He's given a few moments to make out with Jean and then be sad in Dark Phoenix, but nothing that compels anyone to root for the pair or understand what kind of relationship they had or to believe he knew anything about her other than her first name is Jean. In the comic books, thanks in part to the ability to tell multiple stories a month, these relationships are much more fleshed out, built on week after week, month after month, year after year. Jean herself is an underwritten character in Dark Phoenix, 
She gets a small origin story about how she unwillingly and accidentally killed her mother with her powers. But beyond that, Jean simply exists to tell us that she can't control the cosmic phoenix force. There's no real sense of what kind of person she is or what parts of her personality are prone to such a destructive state. Not knowing who Jean really is undercuts her transformation in Dark Phoenix. Because the movie misses an opportunity to make a statement about how all it took was a small push of power to turn a hero into a villain. Or to urge viewers to feel the loss of someone genuinely good and heroic. Instead, we're left with neither, and no tension or feeling. The cinematic future of the X-Men shouldn't have to revolve around the Phoenix. Only appearing in two of Fox's X-Men movies, the Phoenix has always been a looming factor. Before the story was brought to the big screen in X-Men The Last Stand, it was teased in 2003's X2, and before Dark Phoenix, the Phoenix was teased in the final battle of X-Men Apocalypse. Dark Phoenix. Fox continually guiding the franchise toward the Phoenix Saga is at this point a lazy effort. The story is without a doubt the most iconic and recognizable X-Men story Marvel has ever created, and so it's understandable that Fox would want to capitalize on that familiarity. The problem is that Fox has never seemed very interested in telling stories about the X-Men as a collective that go beyond how they're affected by the Phoenix. Movies about the greater whole of the X-Men often have reduced characters like Storm, Jean, Cyclops, or even Nightcrawler, and Quicksilver to territory roles that are seemingly only included to show off their superpowers. To be clear, Fox has excelled at telling stories of one or two X-Men in movies like Logan, Wolverine, X-Men, Wolverine and Magneto, X-2, Wolverine, and First Class, Magneto, Charles Xavier, and to a lesser extent, Mystique. But the running theme is that the best X-Men movies are often just about one to three main characters. It's a much more difficult to tell story like the Phoenix Saga, because it involves establishing all of the X-Men instead of just a select few. The X-Men comics contain plenty of great X-Men stories outside of the Phoenix Saga that are ripe for the big screen like the 1986 crossover event known as the Mutant Massacre. The X-Men and their allies face off against their comic book enemies, the Marauders, or 2005's connected House of M and Decimation storylines, which saw Scarlet Witch eliminating the world's mutant population by altering reality. These events were eventually followed by the second coming crossover storyline in 2010, which involved the time-traveling hero bringing back and protecting the last mutant hope. All these storylines would feel fresher and more welcome on the big screen than another stab at the Phoenix. I would be more than happy with an X-Men movie where the X-Men just go on various missions as a team. Perhaps with the flop of Dark Phoenix and Marvel's reacquisition of the movie rights to X-Men, the apparent formula for making X-Men movies will shift the focus for the characters beyond the ones we've already seen in X-Men movies over and over. I hope Marvel will give these characters more reason to exist beyond showcasing their superpowers at any certain situated plot point. But given the current state of the X-Men franchise, anything would be an improvement. Thank you for tuning in, everybody.